Your Excellency, Mr. Samrin Kashet, Mr. Sidet Bala, President of FIKI, Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister of Lao PDR, Secretary General of ASEAN, Excellencies, Distinguished Participants. At the outset, I wish to express my personal thanks to the Ministry of External Affairs of the Government of the Republic of India for inviting me to participate in the Daily Dialogue 6. My appreciation also goes to the co-organizers of this important annual gathering in New Delhi. The Daily Dialogue plays an important part in the ASEAN-India relations. Myanmar consistently supported and participated in the past annual events. It is very timely that the theme of the Daily Dialogue 6 is realizing the Indian ASEAN, India ASEAN vision for partnership and prosperity as our leaders adopt the vision statement at the ASEAN India Commemorative Summit in New Delhi in December 2012. I am confident that this Daily Dialogue 6 will further advance to intensify and strengthen our strategic partnership. Excellencies, looking at the world today, there is a growing recognition that the 21st century belongs to Asia. Trends are indicating, trends are indicating that the region grows as the most dynamic region in the world. Our individual and joint efforts to promote peace and development will greatly contribute peace and stability of our region and beyond. In this connection, I wish to take the opportunity to welcome India's Look East policy, which enshrines the ASEAN-India strategic partnership. As Myanmar is a close and friendly neighbor of India, we have special interests in India's concept on the gradual shift of its Look East policy. In this respect, India's view for greater involvement of its northeastern part in the context of the Look East policy can bring economic benefits to the northwestern part of Myanmar. We also have keen interests on the subject of greater dialogue on Indian Ocean. In the area of political and security cooperation, ASEAN appreciates India's role in sharing the same vision of peace, stability and prosperity in the region. India's accession to the Treaty of MND and Cooperation in Southeast Asia in 2003 reflects India's support to ASEAN's vision of peace and security. ASEAN commends India's active contribution and consistent support to ASEAN and the ASEAN-led mechanisms such as ASEAN Plus One, the ARF, EAS, and ADMM Plus. Excellencies, allow me to briefly touch upon Myanmar's ASEAN Chairmanship in 2014 and its priorities. We are privileged and proud to take the important task of leading the regional organization. And trusting the chairmanship is regarded as a recognition and support of ASEAN member states, dialogue partners, and the international community to our reform process. As the chair of ASEAN, we are dedicated to effectively implement the role of the chair as prescribed in the ASEAN Charter. Furthermore, Yuma will contribute to uphold the centrality of ASEAN in the evolving regional architecture and will promote friendship and cooperation with the dialogue partners and international and regional organizations. We'll also increase efforts towards the full implementation of the remaining tasks in realizing the ASEAN community by 2015. We'll work for a smooth transition for the ASEAN community that will emerge in 2015 dur during our chairmanship. We'll work closely with the ASEAN members to meet the target of the ASEAN community blueprints and will further promote ASEAN's external relations 
with dialogue partners and development partners. Excellencies, I wish to apprise you our priorities in 2014, which will complement the successful realization of the ASEAN community. As a member of ASEAN and the United Nations, Myanmar will lead ASEAN for the full realization of the Millennium Development Goals. Another priority area is to strengthen and promote the small and medium-sized enterprises in our region. In this, indeed, a prerequisite for integration process as well as for sustainable development of the region. We'll promote public-private partnership for infrastructure development in the region. PPP initiative is aimed at attracting the private sector in the implementation of the Master Plan on ASEAN Connectivity. We will also accelerate the equitable economic development in the region, which is one of the key characteristics of establishing the ASEAN economic community. At the same time, we will continue our efforts to narrow the development gaps within and among the member states and accelerate regional integration and divorce. As our region is prone to natural disasters, we will strive for the establishment of a disaster-resilient community and collectively address the impact of the climate change. Myanmar will also address the environmental issues in close collaboration with our dialogue and development partners. We will accord special emphasis on the effective and timely implementation of the Master Plan on ASEAN Connectivity. Following the decision made by the ASEAN leaders last year, Myanmar will closely work with ASEAN member states to develop the central elements of the ASEAN communities post-2015 vision. Excellencies, now let me share my thoughts on the full realization of the ASEAN-India vision for partnership and prosperity. We have established a strategic partnership at the 20th anniversary of our ASEAN-India Commemorative Summit in December 2012. The progress in the implementation of the Plan of Action to implement the ASEAN-India Partnership for Peace, Progress and Share Prosperity 2010-2015 will make us closer to each other. India's support to initiative for ASEAN integration is benefiting the ASEAN community building efforts. We appreciate India's commitment in supporting the capacity building programs and particularly the Centers for English Language Trainings in Cambodia, Lao PTR, Myanmar and Vietnam. We thank India for the ongoing implementation of setting up a language laboratory and conference facility facilities for the training, research, and foreign languages department of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Myanmar. Excellencies, we are committed to effectively utilizing our trade and economic potential and reaching trade volume between ASEAN and member states and India to 100 billion US dollars by 2015. We look forward to the signing of the remaining trade agreements on services and investment. Based on an existing Indian ASEAN India FTA and other trade facility initiatives, India's participation plays an important role towards the success of the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, RCEP, negotiations. We wish to learn from India her best practices in promoting private-public partnership as well as SME development in the region. Hence, the cooperation between us is complementing ASEAN's objectives in accelerating economic integration. ASEAN and India can foster cooperation and share technologies, know-how and good practices in agriculture and energy sectors to address the food and energy security issues. Excellencies, one important area to realize a vision statement is to strengthen 
and further advance socio-cultural cooperation. As we share many similarities in history, culture, and tradition, we should promote people-to-people interaction and cultural ex- exchanges, especially among the youths. ASEAN and India can also address the emerging challenges such as climate change, natural disasters, as well as tradition, traditional and non-traditional security challenges. Excellencies, as Myanmar is situated in a strategic geographical location linking Southeast Asia and the South Asia continents, we attach great importance to the connectivity. We appreciate India's active participation in the implementation of the Master Plan on ASEAN Connectivity and her innovative initiatives to further enhance air, sea and land connectivity, connectivity with ASEAN. The inaugural consultations between ASEAN Connectivity Coordinating Committee, ACCC, and India took place in Indonesia in June 2013, shows India's commitment to regional connectivity. We welcome the initiative of India to invite the representatives of ACCC to India. We also welcome India's commitment to develop Megal India Economic Corridor, MIEC, connecting Southeast Asia and South Asia. We look forward to see the completion of the highway project which links India with Laopedia, Vietnam, Cambodia and Thailand through Myanmar. This is the expansion of the trilateral highway projects that connects India, Myanmar and Thailand. Furthermore, Kaladan multimodal transit transport project between Myanmar and India will also promote transport and trade as well as transport linkages with other countries in the region. The ongoing special economic zone projects in Chaopshu, Tilawa, and Jawe will also bring great benefits to further enhance connectivity in the region. Once they are operational, our region will be more connected and business will thrive in the region. I wish to take this opportunity to invite Indian business community to do business in Myanmar. Excellencies and dear colleague, colleagues, as the chair of Myanmar, we have successfully hosted the ASEAN Foreign Minister's retreat in Pekan in January. It was a good start for us, and we discussed how to develop the ASEAN community post-2015 vision, among others. We also successfully hosted the third Bay of Bengal initiative for multi-sectoral technical and economic cooperation, PIMSTEC summit, and 14th PIMSTEC ministerial meeting in Nibiru from 3rd to 4th March 2014. In conclusion, during our chairmanship, Myanmar will try its best to promote friendship and understanding and to resolve the differences among the member states and also with our dialogue partners. We are confident that with the support of our fellow member states and the dialogue partners, especially the Republic of India, we will reach our goal of achieving a peaceful and prosperous community. I thank you.